Fireball 2000, firing rockets at targets, approaching the coast of Taichung City. Fighter jets and military helicopters flying across the sky to counter assaults from the People's Liberation Army. These are part of an anti-landing exercise simulating military attacks by China. But that's not all that Taiwan has to show for. The island is going to further beef up its defense capability with support from the U.S., which has approved seven major arms sales to the island in four years, and the latest 620 million U.S. dollar sale of a missile upgrade came only days before the military drill. President Tsai Ing-wen presided the drill, emphasizing the importance of Taiwan's defense capability. By increasing arms sale to Taiwan, analysts say the U.S. has exacerbated the already strained ties across the strait. This has made the island a flashpoint as tensions between the U.S. and China continue to heighten at all fronts. There have been frequent incidents of Chinese and U.S. fighter jets and military vessels approaching near Taiwan's airspace and waterway. Analysts warn that this may well become the new normal for Taiwan, which could drain the island's defense resources. But with China's military budget this year exceeding that of Taiwan by 15-fold, analysts say the island has to do what it takes to deter the threat. The week-long military drill has certainly showcased Taiwan's deterrence in an asymmetrical warfare. But analysts say the best way to resolve cross-street issues is through dialogue rather than a military conflict. Victoria Jen, CNA, Taichung City.